Whatever things are lovely, if there is any virtue, and if there is any praise, think about these things. Philippians 4, verse 8. Beauty is an amazing gift from an amazing God. If it serves no other purpose than to bring us joy, a smile, an ah feeling inside, then it's worth it. Whether it's a sunset over the ocean, wildflowers blooming in the spring, layers of mountains in the distance, the beauty in nature feeds our soul and spirit. We don't know why, other than that God designed us to respond to it in that way. One morning in a very intense week, a scheduled work call was canceled by the other party at the last minute. I jumped at the chance to get outside for a walk. It was cold that day, about five degrees Fahrenheit. But the few new inches of powdery snow, the deep blue sky, and the sunshine called my name, and out I went. It was the best therapy I could have chosen. That hour in the fresh air, surrounded by so much visual and sensory beauty, did wonders. I came home relaxed and ready to get back to work. It also gave me some free mental space to thank the Lord for all this beauty and to pray about some of the issues and relationships I'd been struggling with. I used to think beauty was more fluff than substance. I felt I had to justify spending money and time enjoying it. I don't believe that anymore. God loves beauty, or He wouldn't have put so much of it in the creation He made. Beauty isn't the same for all of us. For example, lots of my Minnesota friends hate winter and can't wait for spring each year. There's no beauty in it for them, and that's fine. What we appreciate as beauty is personal. What kind of beauty moves you? How can you feed your soul and spirit with more of it? When you do, you'll experience more fulfillment, more joy, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And that means more health physically, too. Whatever things are lovely, think about these things. 